What is going on guys? It is Chris and today I am going to be discussing some of the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con alternatives that I've been using for the past month or so. So for a while I've been trying to find alternatives to the standard Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. As you can see here, I do have these and I've been using these pretty much since I got my Nintendo Switch and you can see I do have uh, control freaks on these and that is to try and raise the height of the standard Joy-Con thumbsticks because they're really short and they're really hard to use um, if your game requires a little bit more precision with like right stick aiming or just movement in general. So I wanted to find an alternative with sticks that have a little bit more length to them and you just feel closer to a standard PlayStation 4 or Xbox One thumbstick. So this first Joy-Con that I have tried out are these that go by a bunch of different names. Um, I will post the Amazon link for these as well as the other two uh, Joy-Con alternatives that I'm gonna show in this video. These ones, as you can see here, they have a different grip to them um, and they also have uh, the standard size thumbsticks. So first off the grip, make it holding these controllers in the hand a lot better, especially when they're connected to the Nintendo Switch themselves. They feel really nice and it feels really comfortable to hold for extended periods of time when you're playing games. And then the increased height and the standard thumbsticks uh, make it pretty much just a lot nicer to use in games. Um, and the buttons do feel really nice. They do have a standard uh, D-pad, which the standard Joy-Cons do not. Um, and then the buttons feel pretty much on point um, compared to like a standard Nintendo Switch Joy-Con. So the second controller that I've been using, um, there aren't very many videos on this, but uh, this is a controller. It's made by a company called Doby, um, and they make quite a few uh, Nintendo Switch accessories, including controllers and other Joy-Cons. Um, these ones in particular, uh, it's called, uh, by its model number, the TNS19252. And the main features of this controller, I would say are the grips. They feel a lot nicer than the previous controller that I showed you. Um, and these are probably my second favorite grips out of any controller. Um, my first would honestly have to be my uh, Scuff Impact. These grips are just really nice and they fit nice in my hands. Um, but these are close second. These feel really nice when I'm playing games on my Nintendo Switch. I can play um, extended periods of time without even really thinking about how much time has gone by since I've used these. Um, that's just a testament to how comfortable this grip is in my hands. So if you have bigger hands, uh, this might be a nice uh, controller to look at. But this is a wired controller. This doesn't work wirelessly. And you can see here, it has a standard D-pad. Uh, the buttons are nice and they have standard thumbsticks. Now the right thumbstick does come off as you can see here. And they're actually pretty secure. Um, this one that I'm using is the tallest one and it is a concave. They have a slightly shorter one that is domed that's closer to uh, the way that the Joy-Con thumbstick looks. And then they have a really small one that's closer to like a GameCube uh, little nub. Um, I have tried that and it's really weird, but um, I prefer the longer thumbstick. So this last controller should come as no surprise to anybody that has been looking for an alternative for their Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons, mainly to get better thumbsticks and better buttons in general. Um, and that happens to be the Hori Split Pad Pro. Now this is in their new colorway. Uh, they released three new colors. They released the standard black that's different from the Damon X Machina edition. They released a midnight blue. And as you can see, the third one is this volcanic red. Um, I really like the color, but the main selling point of this controller are its thumbsticks. 
these thumbsticks make using the Nintendo Switch in handheld mode uh, a blast. I've had so much fun just like messing around with this in a bunch of different games, primarily games that require a lot more precision aiming um, with your thumbsticks. Um, this just excels really nicely. And they also have back buttons on the back of each Joy-Con. And this programs to one of the buttons on the individual Joy-Cons that they are assigned to. So unfortunately, what I would have liked to be able to do is assign A and B to both of the back buttons. But unfortunately, I can only assign the face buttons to this Joy-Con and any of the buttons on this Joy-Con. So that's sort of a bummer, but again, the main selling point for me on this are the fact that I get thumbsticks that are as close that I can get to a standard PlayStation 4 or Xbox One controller as I can get on a Nintendo Switch in handheld mode. So to just quickly go over the pros and cons of each of these, starting with the Hori Split Pad Pro, because this is the one that I've used for the least amount of time, but I've pretty much enjoyed using them uh, the most out of the three, I would say. And that mainly boils down to the fact that these sticks feel just a little bit more precise um, in terms of their calibration. Um, they have a smaller dead zone uh, compared to the other two controllers. Uh, so it makes making precision aiming so it makes having more precise aiming a lot easier and it's a little bit just nicer to use um, in certain games where you're primarily aiming with the right thumbstick. Uh, the cons of this, um, they're a bit pricey. They're about $50 uh, new. And with that, you're losing a few features uh, such as rumble, which personally doesn't affect me that much. However, you are also losing the gyro option. So if your game requires gyro in order to play, you're not gonna be able to use these controllers. So now looking at these two controllers where the Hori Split Pad Pro gives up the option of rumble and motion, these two have those featured on these controllers. Now the Dolby controller has motion and gyro, but it is only a wired controller, so you're not able to use this wirelessly, uh, sort of similar to the Hori Split Pad Pro, so you have to plug it in, and you're not able to use the home button to wake the controller up, so you'd have to use the power button. Um, and then again, like I sort of mentioned, uh, the sticks do have a slightly higher dead zone compared to the Hori Split Pad Pro. Now, these controllers, similar to the Dolby controller, do have rumble and gyro, but they also do function wirelessly. So if you're looking for a true replacement for the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con, this is probably the closest that you can get because it has the most features out of the three. Uh, that's sort of close to the standard Switch Joy-Cons. Again, the sticks aren't as nice as I would like them to be due to their higher dead zone. Um, and the dead zones pretty much just make it a little bit harder to use in certain games, um, which sort of just ruins the experience for me personally. Um, but I do know that there's a lot of games where that's not going to impact things as much. So if you're somebody that doesn't play like a lot of first person shooters or third person shooters or any game that requires a lot more precision with aiming, um, this is probably a decent option. And since this does have gyro, you can use that um, instead if that's something that you're used to. That makes that could make it a little bit more precise. But personally, I don't use gyro, so that's just my personal opinion on that. Um, but this does have sort of the most features um, that make it closer to like a standard Switch Joy-Con. So now that I've gone over the primary features of all of these Joy-Con alternatives, now I just wanted to give my sort of personal opinion as to what I think are the best of the three. Um, and I'm sort of just gonna go over each of them 
and the order of least favorite to favorite. So my least favorite would be uh, these Joy-Cons and it pretty much boils down to uh, the thumbsticks. You know, like I said, they have a bit of a higher dead zone, which makes it aiming in certain games a little bit more challenging and just not as precise as I would like it to be. On top of that, while the grips are pretty nice, they do feel a little bit uh, weird in the hand at times, primarily due to the uh, positioning of the sticks being pretty much right over the top of the physical buttons. It doesn't make it really hard to just press the buttons between going back and forth with the sticks, but it just doesn't feel as uh, ergonomic as what I'm used to. So my second favorite controller of the three would have to be the Doby controller. And the main reasons why I like this controller, it boils down to the grips. So like I said, these grips are really comfortable. And if you have big hands like me, you will really enjoy these grips when you're connected to the Nintendo Switch. Um, playing games on the Switch with this connected, uh, it's really nice and it feels like I'm using like a standard controller with my Switch. Um, but then similar to the other controller that I showed, these sticks have a slightly higher dead zone. However, with these being a pretty much all wired controller, they do feel a little bit nicer. Like the sticks don't seem to have as big of a dead zone, I would say, but it is a slightly higher dead zone. So aim in certain games can be a little bit off at times. Um, and that's just something that uh, really affects me when I'm playing games. And lastly, my favorite controller of the three, it has to be the Hori Split Pad Pro. Now, the Split Pad Pro, the problem with these, like the fact that it does give up a few features, mainly the uh, rumble, the gyro, and also being able to run these wirelessly, but again, out of all of the controllers, the only ones that are able to be ran wirelessly are these controllers. Um, but when these are connected to my Nintendo Switch in handheld mode, this is by far my favorite way uh, to play. And it is my favorite controller to use out of the three, mainly because of the thumbsticks. The fact that these thumbsticks feel almost identical to a controller that I would use on PlayStation 4 or Xbox uh, makes it like I'm pretty much playing a handheld console and that's really what I wanted to get out of my Nintendo Switch and these controllers pretty much facilitate that to a T. Um, the gyro that's something that if you really need to have a gyro option on your controller um, I would definitely recommend the Adobe controller um, if I had to sort of describe how I'd use these controllers now, I would pretty much just use my Hori Split Pad Pro for everything. And if I needed to play a game with Gyro, let's say Zelda, and I needed to use Gyro to get through that one shrine, if you played Zelda Breath of the Wild, you know which shrine it is. So I would pretty much just use the Adobe controller and then switch back. So that's how I sort of see these controllers. And then this one, this controller is really nice, um, but uh, for extended periods of play, I probably would prefer a different controller. Um, but this is nice if I had to loan this to somebody and they wanted to play or were doing um, a co-op game or a competitive game where it's split screen and I had to give somebody a second controller, this is an option. So there you have it. Those are the Joy-Con alternatives that I have been using. And if you like this video, please leave a like and comment down below if you're interested in any of these controllers. Now, if you want and you want to see a video with me actually showcasing how these controllers perform in game, then I would hit that subscribe button and stay tuned because I am going to have a video where I go a little bit more in depth on these controllers and their features and just showing off how they work in game. And I think from that video, you would get a better idea of why I picked the Hori Split Pad Pro as my personal favorite controller out of the three. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, this is Chris, and I'll see you later.